City of Chicago services, which have been closed to the public, including parks, facilities and libraries, will begin reopening on Monday as well. It's been a long few months for businesses in Chicago. As many prepare to reopen today, others are choosing to keep their doors closed. And what a time, Ryan. CBS 2's Mugo Odigwe is live at Museum Campus to tell us why some business owners say it's just not a good time to reopen. Mugo? There are so many things these business owners have to consider before reopening. There's still that uncertainty of COVID-19 and now the fear of damage. Will their businesses be looted if they reopen today? You know, Monday morning came rolling around and that's when we get our orders and we didn't get as many orders. And I'm, I'm guessing, you know, Gold Coast Whole Foods got hit, West Loop, South Loop, you know, they're, you know, we're probably not the first thing on their mind right now. We spoke with Hillary Black, owner of Hillary's Cookies in North Lincoln Square. She says the wholesale grocery stores that buy her baked goods are closed because of looting concerns. That means she's not getting as many orders. She also doesn't feel comfortable having her staff back at work because of all the unknowns of COVID-19. It's a similar story at Cafe Creamery in River North. The owner says in the past few days, there hasn't been much foot traffic in the area because of looters, and it will take some time and patience for those businesses that were boarded up to take the boards down. When your store gets boarded, you obviously have to call a vendor. And then, as you can imagine, because the whole city is boarded, you're in a long line then to get your boards down. You can't just physically take them down yourself. So they're nailed in there. It's a process. So her plan is to reopen on Friday. Other businesses in Chicago say they're not going to reopen today. Instead, they plan to do so over the weekend.